So the Yahara Pride Farm Organization has really set up a system that we think is, is really repeatable and could happen in other places. Uh, they've asked us to come in and evaluate their farms, which means look at their cropland and how they're handling nutrients. Uh, we interview each of those farmers in regards to their nutrient management strategies and then look at their facilities. And what we've found is that we've identified a lot of really good practices that farmers are doing and we really need to document that because they don't get a lot of credit for that. At the same time, we prioritize and work with them on some of the things that they could look at as high risk situations and then they themselves and some other professionals really sit down and look for solutions. That could happen anywhere in the United States. You just need to have farmers who understand the challenges and are really willing to look at what the solutions could be for their farms. Right. It's also important to understand that this whole process couldn't hand come at all without some form of funding, uh, whether the farmers pay for it themselves or whether industry steps in and helps them. Uh, having a total evaluation and, and a prioritized list does cost some money. Uh, people say, well, why doesn't government pay for it? Well, then, then, it, then it would become regulatory and basically take it out of a farmer-driven process. So right now, I think the fact that your foundation really helps support this is one of the critical steps in that agriculture, both farmers and industry are going to have to figure out how to help themselves do a better job.